Hi, I'm Auntie Jessie, and here is your Auntie Scope for June 2nd, 2023. Happy Big Gay Month to you! Venus is trying Neptune. So this transit brings a period of enhanced sensitivity, creativity, and spiritual connection in the areas of love, relationships, and artistic pursuits. During this transit, you may experience a heightened sense of compassion, empathy, and understanding towards others. Well, bitch, what about you? Hypocrisy ki bhi sima hoti hai. Bitch, I eat Ouija boards for breakfast. Um, okay then. How come this lady's out here running a tarot card reading psychic scam and ain't nobody care about it other than me? Welcome to hell. It is I, the host of hell, Satan herself, proclaimed mean bitch, queen of karma. Today, we are going to talk about Auntie Jessie Labry and her rise to fame. No, they don't hear me though. They don't hear me though. They don't hear me though. Got the cash in the cars. The fuck is wrong with your ashy ass? Her rise to fortune, i.e. scams. Mm, your sledgehammer, and then all those zombies rise up from their graves. And why our online community should be really weary of her. See this what we not finna do. See this what we not finna do. See this what we not finna do. This not what we about. Here in hell, we cover pseudoscience, cult scams, and all the above. Ooh, I would watch the fuck out of that. And several of you asked me to cover this a lot, several times, all over the damn place. Ooh, y'all are really testing me on some stuff that I. I hate to say it out. So grab yourself a snack, or you can come roast some marshmallows by the fire, grab a stiff drink, and let's talk about this horror cow promoting pseudoscience scams and doing a lot of other crazy stuff. Ooh, I would watch the fuck out of that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into hell together. Once you enter, you will never be the same again. <laughs> Auntie Jessie Pearl Labry, or as we know her as, Dr. Auntie Jessie Pearl Labry, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. has had her YouTube channel since the 6th of March 2015. She is heading on a thousand subscribers, which is why I felt the need to make this video. According to her description, she is a spiritual advisor, an inland empress, I want to know a little bit more about the credentials to do that, and mother superior of the Valkyries. We are very very familiar with Valkyrie here. And Auntie Jessie has a spiritual advising website in which she claims that she is a psychic who can see into the future. Here on my channel, we often speak out against pseudoscience, the occult, cults, and scams. And if somebody is all of the above and a lol cow, they are sure to end up on my channel. According to Aunt Jessie here, she does private tarot card readings for $35. She does numerology consultation for $26. She'll even curse someone for you, bless someone for you, or do some spell work for $53. Another thing she does is past life consultation for $53, where she tells you who you were in, uh-huh, your past life. She also does astrological consultations for $80 distance reiki energy work for 80 spiritual or paranormal consultation for 53 dollars and she does dating profile edits and reviews for a whole 26 dollars another thing that she claims to be is an ordained minister 
Yes, that's right. You can get Auntie Jessie to marry you. Give your baby a baptism. Do your grampy's funeral and etc. But you have to email her or text her for the prices for that. Her website reads, Since spring of 2022, I have been practicing distance Reiki energy healing sessions. These sessions are unique in that the client does not need to be physically in my presence for me to perform my work. After connecting with my clients via text, video, or email to find out their specific needs and intentions for the session, I ask the client to be relaxed in a quiet environment while begin the session. While I begin the session, do you not edit these? I use traditional and non-traditional techniques to channel Reiki energy to my client. During the session, my clients describe feeling a sense of warm, tingling, or relaxation, which are all common sensations associated with Reiki healing. So yeah, she even claims to heal people. After the session, I check in with my client to discuss any experiences or insights I may have had during the session, as well as guidance on self-care practices that can help continue to support their healing process. Most of her clients are on YouTube and she does, of course, promote all of her socials. Then she describes herself by saying, Auntie Jessie is a wise and witty woman with a heart full of love and advice and a mouth full of swears. Auntie Stacy is a seasoned veteran in life. I'm getting old and has accumulated a wealth of knowledge and experience over the years. The aunties in their humor, compassion, and no-nonsense approach make the Antiscope podcast a must-listen for anyone seeking, old. seeking guidance and inspiration in their lives. Being old and I need to get my life together. I think it is fair to say that she really does want to be an influencer. Being old. Not only an influencer, but one that is a witch, that casts spells, that can read the future, and even tell you all about your past lives. But only if you pay her. One of the things that really got me about this woman is that she claimed to be an ordained minister as well as a witch, which is usually a conflict of interest. Auntie Jessie claimed to get her ordained ministry from the Universal Life Church, and here we have one in Canada, which is very similar to the US, and you get it for free? And then you can buy your credentials for $10. I have checked out this place and it really does look suspicious. That's suspicious. That's weird. Just to compare, this is the United National Ministry. They're a very similar ministry that will ordain people in both Canada and the USA. And these are their prices. So usually you pay about $80. So it's a little bit sus to me. That's suspicious. And as with all of these sorts of ordained ministry things, a lot of them are you just do a little bit of training on a website and then you fill out a form. Like Jeff Holiday became an ordained minister as well, ironically. So I thought she was ironic, but as you see on her website, unfortunately, bitch is not being ironic. He really does say here, Jesse Pearl Lavery is an ordained minister through the Universal Life Church of Modesto, California. Oh, nope, bitch is not being ironic. She really does want to be a minister. That's suspicious. Auntie Dr. Jessie often promotes her tarot card readings and mastery on her YouTube channel, especially in shorts. Not, not like she's wearing shorts, thank God for that, but she puts shorts on YouTube. Peter Gabriel starts playing I want a beat, Bow. your sledgehammer, and then all those zombies rise up from their graves uh, for whatever fucking reason. I don't know. Like, are they going to all go home and play with Jesus? I don't know what the deal is. But this is pretty much a moment of, like, an inner calling, an absolution. It's a fucking moment of, hey, we've got to fucking get the fuck up and do the thing. 
She is all about the swears, as she said. So these videos are never kid friendly. And she seems to believe that your cell phone is a magic wand because she really does believe magic is real, guys. Phones are magic, dude. It's a magic box. I have information. Let me Google that for you. This is what you, you know, it entertains you. It connects you to your people. How is that not a magic wand? It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No, not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. And with all of her tarot card readings and the fact that she does magic and casts spells and the fact that she's an ordained minister really makes it so that Dr. Auntie Jessie is not someone to mess with because she is not even scared of me, Satan, or the occult or anything of the like. She's magic, you know? This is why people trust me to fucking look into what the fucking messages are for them that are waiting for them from their guides and shit. Because I know how to interpret that shit. Also, I ain't no bitch. And I ain't afraid of shit. And sometimes people get afraid, like, that's Ouija board stuff. Bitch, I eat Ouija boards for breakfast. Just cut them up. It's like alphabets. And the part that I don't understand about all of this is that sometimes she gives parents advice to give to the children. So you would think that this bitch would be child-friendly content, but she's not. Here's an example of her telling a mom how her daughter at school can deal with bullies. Oh yeah, this is amazing advice, everyone. You could say no, you know, you have to be the parent sometimes. Oh, girls at school are mean? Fuck those little bitches. I fucking hate those bitches. Fuck them. Tell your daughters to put those bitches' names on a piece of paper. Write those names on a piece of paper. And then fold that paper away from them like it's a dirty diaper. Like, ugh, gross. And then you put that fucking piece of paper in a jar. And then you piss in that jar. And you put glass and dirty nails and a bunch of nasty shit. And then you fucking shake that bitch up and then you put them in the motherfucking in the fucking freezer and you freeze those bitches i mean that's it that's if you want your your, your 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 daughters to be playing around with witchcraft i mean i i'm i'm down for that but you may not be don't 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 do it don't don't do it i would not be giving my daughter any advice from this lady but you do you boo you do you and not only does she give advice on how to handle bullies, but as you guys saw, she will help you write a dating profile for 25 bucks, or she will even give you all some relationship advice. I guess for free on her channel. Think of it this way. Do you want to be with somebody who fills a quota for you? How would you feel if you are the person that fills a quota for somebody else? It's not great, right? Well, with relationship advice like that, no one will ever have any relationship issues ever again. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. Auntie Jessie Labrie there uh, began her fame over in the Drunken Peasant podcast area of the internet. And we're going to talk about that a little bit for a second. But first, there was this amazing masterpiece that she made for our boy, Billy the Fridge. Yeah. We make a stripper music. Hundred dollar bills hanging up your stripper music. Hundred thousand dollar watch, hundred million dollar yachts, honey stripping down my crotch. They don't hear me though. They don't hear me. They don't hear me though. No. They don't hear me though. They don't hear me though. No. They don't hear me though. They don't hear me. Got the cash in the cars, the cars. They don't hear me. Buy your bottles in the bars, the bars. They don't hear me. Go and kick it with the stars, the stars. They don't hear me. We out here living large, we large. Bitch, I'm hot now. Lil Caesars, rolling with your top down, nipple teasers, about to blow the spot. Man, nigga, what you doing out here with all this ass? Double cheeked up, 
on a Thursday afternoon, hella ass, the sun is still out, my nigga. Well, I did save you guys from going through somehow by not making you watch that entire video. Trust me, you don't want to see it. Ma'am, nigga, what you doing out here with all this ass? Yeah, see, you're very welcome. That is why I am not as bad as people say. I swear, I murdered less people than God did. And these bitches out here making fun of my joke twerking? Bitch, please. Auntie Dr. Jessie often does talk about her connections with Billy the Fritch. For example, right here. Is DPP the Drunken Peasants podcast? I had their attention and defended a title belt in actual mania for three months. Once against Billy the Fritch himself and won. So I don't know what, huh? Clearly you're obsessed with them. Not unlike Beth who religiously watches your streams. Aw, it's so cute that she thinks that I actually watch her and give a crap about what she has to say. I mean, my time being in the DP private shows gained me about 200 subscribers and a handful of clients, so I guess it's win-win. Oh great, she's ripping them off. I've disengaged from that community though because I am not thrilled with some decisions Ben has made, but go off. Did he tell you to stop selling your bullshit tarot scams around people? Also, lady, this conversation about me and DPP, it happened hella late at night. Why are you talking about us at 4 a.m. for? And man, it is amazing how many bitches have come and tried to step to me just because I had Billy the Fridge in my fucking Discord or some bullshit. Why is all the drama coming from you, Billy? Why? We out here living large, we large. Since leaving the Drunken Peasant podcast and Billy the Fridge behind. Aw, oh, poor Billy, such a sweet boy. Auntie Dr. Jessie has taken up her new home with Carrie, the Shanny for Christ, a logger, who streams about Shanny 12 hours a day. However, her community does not seem to like Jessie as much as Jessie likes using Carrie and her community to promote herself and all of her scams. No, I can't knows what's up. Body language is a pseudoscience. It is something pushed by the ignorant or shills. Just like polygraphs, horoscopes, tarot, etc. And here are some comments that were left under another video that Jesse appeared in of Carrie's. Most of your streams are a lot of fun. The stream last night with Hillary, beware the night and yourself was great. But I don't think I'm going to tune into any more streams with Auntie Jesse. I really don't like her tone, policing, or or how she feels she can tell you what to have on your channel. Keep being you, Carrie. Thank you for all your work. Heart. And someone responds, I can understand why you would say that. Not all the guests are home runs. And it appears that Jesse, especially as of late, has not been a home run, as there have been some controversy surrounding her in a comment that she made. You may have heard about it on Burnt Toast and Jules's stream. However, we do need to get into that here, as there are some suspicious things that are going on that worry us all. That's suspicious. In the following segment, on one of Carrie's streams in which Auntie Jessie and her were looking at Shanny for Christ's body language, they came to the conclusion that Shanny might be doing something a little worse to her children than we have already known about out here. And don't get me wrong, Shanny is extremely bad and I am fully in support of those kids never being returned to her and of her never returning onto the internet. I hope that that she stays far away and that she and Rev get their lives back together before they even think about coming on here. But it is not okay what occurred on this stream and the fact that this has not been corrected or discussed since. That when they were babies, because mm -hmm. this is not the first time that they've been taken from her. Yeah. There was another time where they were, they literally found the, the boys playing with her sex toys. <laughs> they were young, they were very small, so they didn't My know what they were, God. obviously, but why the hell, A, are you leaving shit like that where your kids can get to it, but B, where the hell are you when they're able to get to it and start doing all that and playing with it for someone else to come and, you know, discover? Well, you know, for that to happen, it, I mean, look, kids get into shit, and, and you're not the worst parent in the world if your kids kid accidentally find your dildo no. you're probably a worse parent if your kid finds your drugs that's a pretty bad thing yeah. but like yeah um 
it's now that weird, in a, you know, itself but... is one thing, but the fact that there's there's something under the surface here psychologically, I almost feel like um she almost hoped that someday when these boys grew up that they would kind of become her partner not in like a sexual way no hopefully not no but there's but a weird. lot of weird underlying like well, like she eye bulging. Be, yeah she tries to be their friend way too much too no. and i mean she's not even doing a good job at that but that's her her kind of thing where she she preaches that a lot lot about you know wanting to be your kids don't need friends they need their parents they have yeah. friends you know they yes. need a mom and they don't they need do. a friend but they she doesn't do. seem to get that yeah so i decided as a mother to allow my sons to explore life on their own agenda on their own way on their own light what That's... they want to do what they love because that was raped from me when i was a child uh, but my parents what? want she loves to throw that word around, I swear. She does. And again, the, where did where did sex come into any of this conversation? At right. All? Yeah. She's talking about being a good mother, right? She's talking about being a good mother and, and um that people should be able to be who they want to be. She has now mentioned sex and her ability to be a mother like what Several three times, times mm -hmm. in the last what is this maybe 30 seconds of video yeah mm -hmm. pretty much what very bizarre they wanted me a certain way they wanted me to be someone i wasn't but i'd be damned if i did that to my fucking sons yeah i'd yeah, be you'd, damned you'd be damned if you did that you know you just are okay with abusing and neglecting them like someone said in the chat, was that an actual Freudian slip? Like, yeah, I, I there may be some not, underlying like, fucking Oedipus there's complex might shit be going some on here. Stuff going on. Mm -hmm. oh. I'll be damned. Hmm. I am so fucking tired of trying to do the right thing by fucking everyone and everyone fucking tearing me apart for doing the fucking right thing. When have you done I am the right supporting thing? Jason right now through his mental health problems. That's the problem. Oh. You're supporting him oh. instead of supporting your kid with their mental health problems. Why doesn't well, their mental health come before his? And if we're not going to equate that there's a weird underlying Freudian sex thing going on um, with the kids, we at least know that the segue into And I Love Jason, the segue is sex. The segue mm -hmm. is sex gives her the feeling of acceptance. It is something that she can use as power and a weapon to control a man. This particular very stupid small tiny man um so if this is not an underlying thing about the kids and exploring sexually this is the and in this essay i will explain to you why fucking my husband is the best thing i ever you know right <sighs> this is yeah. so weird mm -hmm. i have seen him i have talked to him I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not putting my children at harm. I'm not doing anything wrong by that. Oh, oh the eyes again head. and the shaking of the head. She was really shaking her head with that. Let me go back. So a lot of people were already upset with Dr. Auntie Jessie and Carrie for implying that Shani may be sexually attracted to her kids or doing something to those kids. And although she has been neglectful and abusive, nobody else out here other than these two losers believe that about her trust. The newest thing going on other than 
than the Teddy Bear 55 drama, which I'm sure everyone is aware of, and if not, go check that out on his channel, is that Carrie and Auntie Jessie and the mods over there seem to uh, be protecting uh, predators. So a lot of weirdness going on. But there have been conversations that have been leaked from Carrie's Discord. I'll just put some here and you could pause and read. you XX Archives Rocket, my anti-pedo buddy, my friend. So there seems to be some conversation about what terms to use when discussing those creeps because people don't want to hurt their feelings, I guess. Fuck your fucking feelings. Seems to be causing some problems, especially since Auntie Dr. Jesse is opening a Discord for what's called Naughty Teachers, and people are just kind of wondering what all this stuff is about. All of you there, uh, Carrie Mods, y'all got some explaining to do to all of us, okay? You got some explaining to do. Fuck your fucking feelings. You think that you cute as shit, you a lot, you think you hot, oh no 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 no. Dr. Auntie Jessie can be seen promoting herself all over Carrie's live chat, which is funny to a lot of us because Carrie made a big deal over 21 mentioning a few times that she should watch her video, and then there's Auntie Jessie just going off non-stop. We are not the only ones that have called Carrie out for having weird mods in the past. As you see here, she's even being called out by Jules for mod choice. She doesn't seem to understand that the actions that the mods do on the internet can come back onto her. She seems to think that she can just have ignorant bliss. It is not good to have Auntie Dr. Jessie out here selling tarot card readings, scamming people's subscribers in their community out of money, being a fake ordained minister because that site was sus as fuck, and just out here causing random drama along with saying things that are not true about the lol cows that they are covering. They also have some very strange belief systems. For example, they like to connect children and fathers or children and mothers sexually. I'm going to put something on the screen here in which this community is stating that a picture of my husband and daughter when she was a baby doing skin to skin contact is actually sexual. And that kind of makes everyone wonder with what's going on in the Discord now and with Auntie Jessie and the comments she's made. If these these people are people that we should all be weary of out here. Oh, and don't forget, you can also find Auntie Jessie promoting her merch. Hey, wait, that's me on it. It's a little bizarre to me whenever I see these girls out here that claim to come from the DPP area of the internet, selling tarot card readings and other pseudosciences and saying that they're witches. Don't you boys speak out about pseudosciences with Jeff Holiday? Come on now. But here we are, and therefore I do feel the need to warn the community. I am not saying that these people are predators, which is not a slur word, by the way. Pedos is not a slur, but whatever, Carrie and mods. What I am saying is that there is some suspicious behavior going on, and they seem to like to use this as a cancel campaign towards other people, and that is worrisome when there is zero proof that anyone's touching their damn kids out here, okay? It's also, again, worrisome that this person is promoting 
promoting tarot card readings and psychic readings of the like. You guys know that I feel like anyone that claims that they can do this is a scammer. There is no such thing as magic. Tarots were created as a card game to be played, just like the normal deck of cards. We've spoken about this on my channel before. Go and check that out if you haven't yet. I do a whole deep dive on tarot. So I do think that we do need a public warning out here that this person is out here among these communities promoting their bullshit, their bullshit pseudosciences. And there are some creators out here that seem to be supporting that and supporting their audience getting scammed, which I am definitely not about. You also have to remember that when you have mods that are out here behaving in a certain way, it does reflect back on you. So if you want to have a mod out here that's selling tarot cards and using you and Billy the Fridge for clout carry, go off. But the rest of us, we all need to protect our communities. Thanks. So guys, I'm going to basically leave this up to all of you to make your own decisions as usual. Don't just believe me. Go and check things out for yourself. Go watch Dr. Auntie Jessie and Carrie and see if maybe you like them. You know, it's not up for me to say. I am just here to warn you of pseudosciences, scams, and cults, and this might be leading into a cult of personality, but we're not going to get onto that yet. Please be sure to do all of them YouTube things. I am not using other creators for clout, so I really do need you guys to like and subscribe and share and etc to bring up that algorithm. And no matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care, and I'm going to see you all very, very soon. Probably tomorrow with a stream, okay? See you then. Mwah. Bye! And remember, Remember, pseudoscience is bad, okay? Welcome to hell. During this transit, you may experience a heightened sense of compassion, empathy, and understanding towards others. Well, bitch, what about you? Hypocrisy ki bhi sima hoti hai. Bitch, I eat Ouija boards for breakfast. Um, okay then. How come this lady's out here running a tarot card reading psychic scam and ain't nobody care about it other than me? I wanna be your sledgehammer. What you, you know, it entertains you. It connects you to your people. How is that not a magic wand? Trust me to fucking look into what the fucking messages are for them that are waiting for them from their guides and shit. Because I know how to interpret that shit. Also, I ain't no bitch. Put that fucking piece of paper in a jar, and then you piss in that jar. See this what we not finna do. See this what we not finna do. See this what we not finna do. This not what we about. Hundred thousand dollar watch, hundred million dollar yachts, honey's dripping down my crotch. They don't hear me though. 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 Got the cash in the cars, the cars. They don't hear me. Buy your bottles in the bars, the bars. They don't hear me. Go and kick it with the stars, the stars. They don't hear me. We out here living large, we large. Bitch, I'm hot now. Lil Caesars, rolling with your top down, nipple teasers, about to blow the spot. Man, nigga, what you doing out here with all this ass? Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon, hella ass, the sun is still out, my nigga. Well, I did save you guys from going through some hell by not making you watch that entire video. Trust me, you don't want to see it. Ma'am, nigga, what you doing out here with all this ass? Yeah, see, you're very welcome. That is why I am not as bad as people say. I swear, I murdered less people than God did. That's suspicious.